I'm Jamie Stangroom, and in each episode, I'll track down an unsung hero of Star Wars, audition them to see if they've still got what it takes, and maybe get them back in a future instalment. After my success with Jeremy Boba Bullock, I realised that bounty hunters seem surprisingly easy to track down. Fett might be the most famous mercenary in the Star Wars universe, but there's another who's almost as well known. If only for his ineptitude. Time to find out who really shot first. Sun, sea and beautiful women. Blackball is synonymous with one of those things, but today all it's synonymous with is nerds. Herds of them. Nerd herds. I arrive as Blackpool Comic Con is in full flow and find Greedo himself, Paul Blake. Paul, hmm? what are you doing? Oh. I'm bounty hunting. Come on. Paul insisted in his contract that we kept that joke in. So is it true that Anthony Daniels, C3P himself, got you the Star Wars gig? He did, indeed. We were both working on Jack and Ore, the uh, kids' TV show for the BBC, and he rang me up and he just said, I'm doing this uh, sci-fi film. And um, the director said, do I know of any other gullible uh, actors um, who would be uh, OK in the film? So I said, right, I'll be there tomorrow morning. And but that's you still how I got surely it. must have auditioned. No, not at all. I turned up at Elstree Street and uh, there was nobody there. And uh, there was just one guy right in the far corner of, of the set of the Millennium Falcon. Wow. So I walked over to this guy and said, look, I'm desperately thirsty. You couldn't get me a coffee, could you? Anyway, and he went off, got me the coffee, came back. I said, do you know this guy who's directing this, George somebody or other? He said, I'm, I'm George Lucas. So, <laughs> so George Lucas got me the coffee and gave me the job for some reason. Wow. Did he change it to a cup of tea? Because he likes changing things. He does. <laughs> Unfortunately not, no. What are your memories of being on that Moss Eisley cantina set? It's such an iconic scene. I stood around. Uh, to watch other filming because it was quite cool and you could, even in 1976, yeah. to see all those little booths occupied yeah. by uh, aliens was pretty cool. What uh, props did you steal? In my little scene I, I had a gun, obviously, and, mm. and the guns were quite interesting. They, they, it would job lot, like everything in Star Wars, of cheap German pistols and they'd been had a little bit of plastic put on the end to make them look like ray guns, so I'm kind of interested in that. So I took the gun I actually used in my scene home, which was I mean, you didn't want anything from a, a film in the 70s. But I had young kids, and I thought, oh, they'll, they'll enjoy that. So I took it home for them. And about four yeah. years later, one of them cracked it in two, no. and I threw it in the bin. Thousands <laughs> so of pounds. Hundreds of thousands of pounds I threw in the bin. So there's my kids. Sorry, kids, that's your private education down the drain. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, now, there is a slightly controversial moment in your scene. Who shot first? Mm. You were there, Sir Paul. Who shot first? I have a T-shirt which says, Han shot first on it. And I take everything for granted that's printed on a T-shirt. So mm. I presume he must have shot first because I was there. <laughs> we were this close. I know Greedo was a terrible assassin, but really, you know, he'd have had to need it by focals if he'd missed. And the mighty Chewbacca himself, Peter Mayhew, recently settled the debate by tweeting his original script, proving that Han did shoot first. Although, not at Greedo, but instead, an intergalactic bounty hunter called Alan. Alan Greedo? Greedo Alan, I think it has a ring to it. But I must say, I don't remember... I'll have to check my script when I get home, Peter. I mean, whatever next? Did, did Greedo work for Joda Hutt? <laughs> who was trying to kidnap Charles Backer. <laughs> Charles Backer, very nice man. Or uh, Bob Fett? <laughs> well, I don't talk about Bob Fett too much because, I mean, after all, an assassin that dies in a child's sand pit, you know, really, <laughs> it's not the same as... Uh, fighting uh, talk from, uh, from Greedo. Yes, it is. I didn't have the heart to tell Paul about Boba's rumoured escape. Do you mind that Greedo gets all the attention? Because obviously you've done more in your career than that. Well, when I was... Quite a young, serious actor. I, I, I played Shakespeare. I've done many Shakespearean parts. I was in uh, the West End several times, did many plays, and you know, played Macbeth and Banquo and Laertes and Lysander and Claudio, as Charles Swan in Proust's Allo. To be honest, I started to switch off when Paul went a bit French. And it used to annoy me, but the. Now, I think it's probably the coolest thing ever that on my tombstone it will say, here lies Greedo, uh, failed assassin. 
What about a Greedo spin-off? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Greedo spin-off would be lovely. I've been petitioning for a, a, a Greedo movie after this um, and possibly playing the father of Greedo or the grandfather of Greedo. Could it be a comedy about hitmen? Hitmen? It could be a comedy about hitmen. Or what about one where he travels through time to pip assassins to their shootings but misses? That's got legs, yeah. I think. Yeah. Gandhi? Yes. <laughs> Gandhi would be good. Look out for the Star Wars actor claims assassinating Gandhi would be good headlines. Now, Paul, it's time to prove that you're not as useless as Lucas would have people believe. Excellent. And maybe earn you a role in another Star Wars film. Oh, even better. We've got some cans with Han Solo on, and we've placed a bounty on top of each can solo to suit your bounty hunting needs. Of course. And we're going to give you another chance to shoot, and this time, hit the target. Perfect. Paul Greedo Blake, you may fire when ready. Given how he walked into the job originally, this will technically be Paul's first Star Wars audition. This is a real exclusive. Sorry about the mess. Much like Boba Fett, it seems that time has only sharpened his skills, with modern-day Paul giving his old character a real schooling in the art of marksmanship. There's no way Disney won't respond to that. Now, the golden rule about bounty hunting is never be greedy. Greedy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for regular interviews and audition tapes with Star Wars actors.